guys got me on spicy drinks now. It is that right. It is spicy. It is delicious. And Nate got an espresso martini. And this is one of the best places for true martinis. Oh my goodness. Thanks. A little getaway. We're back home now and I'm giving you the real close up. But what do you think of these lashes? What do we think? I gotta work on like, for my first time, it's not bad, but I gotta work on making them a little bit more even. They're called Falscara by Kiss. And you apply them underneath. Can you see that? And then you seal it. You basically put a mascara on first shove them in there. There's like three each on each eye and then seal it with like another mascara. It's a new thing. I kind of love it. And I guess this can last like up to 10 days. My concern is I don't feel it at all, like at all anymore. When you first put them on, it's just like kind of adjusting to it, but I don't feel it. And, but like taking a shower and like getting my face wet and stuff, like I can't imagine them staying on. I don't know, but I will keep you posted, but I kind of like them, right? There it is. I got to go and get some groceries today for Christmas food. My parents and kiddo are heading back in tomorrow. I am looking forward to it, but we are stopping. Nate's in there picking it up now. Greens and proteins. I wanted the sweet potato fries. We've shared this so many times, but the sweet potato fries from greens and proteins is the best, like hands down, can't be touched, so delicious. So I'm gonna start my day with that. Yeah, I'm still in my PJs. He had to go get a car wash and he's like, you wanna go? I'm like, I'm not changing, I'm not doing it. <laughs> but he's heading to work a little bit later today. Gosh, it's already almost 10 and uh, works late and I'm gonna go and do that today and I'll share that with you guys. But aside from that, not too much going on, I don't think. Just pick up around the house. Um, yeah, oh, it's coming, it's coming. Yes, yes. Thanks. Sprinkles. Thanks. Sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries. That's what you oh got. my God, that's so good. Oh, Mac Douglas. Oh my goodness. All right, I just got home from the grocery store and I thought we could take everything out together and I'll show you what I got for basically Christmas day, but also a few days up until that. Speaking of that, I think what I'm gonna do this year, because when you see this, the next day will be Christmas Eve and then of course Christmas. And I feel like, I think I did this last year, I think that a lot of people are super busy this weekend. I totally get it. And I think what I'm gonna do is just a combo one for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day on Christmas day. And uh, it'll be later that day. In fact, not even in the morning. I'll just do a combo one and we'll close out Vlogmas on the 25th again, like midday. Cause I feel like too, if I posted Christmas day the next day, nothing wrong with that, but we're all so over it then. <laughs> you know what I mean? We are anyway, but again, today is officially Thursday. Again, my family comes in tomorrow, and so Friday, Saturday, and then of course Christmas morning for the chili quiles. I'm so excited. However, I've made my list, got everything except for the fresh oregano. They were out of the oregano, and they said they're going to get some more in tomorrow. We still have a couple days. <gasps> you have to have it. You have to have it, and it has to be fresh. <laughs> and uh, they were out. Actually, a lot of their like. Um, herbs and stuff, the fresh ones were out, but keep our eye out in the next couple days, we'll swing back by. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you what I got. So I went over to Vaughn's and I don't really do hauls from there like as when I do them week to week for you guys, because one, I feel like for us, it's very close to us where we live and it's a place that we actually kind of go to often, but for like one-off things that we're out of when we, you know, at that bad time when you need it. And uh, we'll do that a lot, but I also feel like a lot of people don't have Vons 
It's also not a Safeway. I think it's known as many different things. It's like an Albertsons, I would say. It may even be co-owned, I don't know. But uh, I do like it, but also I feel like kind of it can be a little pricey for like all your things that you're going to get in comparison to other stores. So I've just kind of avoided it as like my all around place to go. But today I wanted to just kind of get in and out. It was busy, but it wasn't terrible. And so it was worth it. Wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad. But anyway, I'm just going to show you what I got. I'm going to just do it like this. Why not? I got some bagels. Yes, I did. I got the everything bagels and some blueberry ones here from the Thomas brand. I'm gonna, you know, lay some stuff out. Then, by the way, these plastic bags, I will reuse them. Litter box, it works. Anyway, but uh, I also got a bunch of uh, vine ripe tomatoes. So they're basically off the vine, but they are ready to go. And I'm gonna use these for making again the sauce. So you really pretty much only need Roma tomatoes. That's what the recipe calls for. I've shared this now a couple times with you guys, but if you want to like kind of bulk it up, which is what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make a big batch. We'll have it for the morning, but then we'll have leftovers too. It freezes great. Uh, you can use like actually any tomato, but I do prefer these ones and this will just make it go a little bit further. I mean, you could just do more Romas too, but this totally works. Done and done. So I got a bunch of those. Okay, I'm gonna go totally out of order here. Got some um, more Kleenex, tis the season. I feel like we'll probably just do um, sandwiches, chips, fruit, call it good, the bagels, uh, the days up until then. And we might even order pizza, who knows? You know how it is. Got two white onions. I am planning to make some pico as well. So I have one of them for the chilaquiles and one of them for the pico. I might make guac too, we will see. I got a few, uh, avocados and I do still have some too back there. If they're ripe, I'm gonna make that too. It's essentially the same recipe as the pico, but instead of the romas, you use uh, avocado and it's really good. So I might just share an onion for that too. But we will see, got a pineapple. These were on sale for like a dollar, so I grabbed one of those. And then I still have the watermelon back there from earlier this week. I got some mandarin oranges here. I thought we could have some of those. We are almost out. We have a few left, but we've been munching on these. Got, again, three avocados. These ones are large. I tried to pick ones that were like pretty much ripe. They feel maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> They're almost there. So got those. Got one red onion for like sandwiches. Got a few little bulbs here of garlic which we will need for, again, the sauce too, and the salsa. And then the star of the show for the chilaquiles sauce is this right here, the California Chili Pods. So delicious, so delicious. I am completely out of mustard. Well, I really wasn't, but it, the way that I put it in the refrigerator, I opened the door the other day and I just saw the expiration on it. It expired in July. I know I've had some since then. I mean, I'm fine. I tossed it. I did. And I got another one. Got some mustard. <laughs> Oops. Got some pickles. Ew. People like pickles. I don't. But the uh, pickle slices dill, again, for some sandwiches. My mom really likes, I like them too, but my mom likes these pepperoncini, pepperoncinis, pepperoncinis. That's what we'll call them. But she really likes those for sandwiches as well. Got one thing here of the, I can't believe it's, uh, oh, this reminds me. Hey, oh, I thought it was cracked. No, it's not. I got the, I can't believe it's not butter. It's vegan butter, but this reminds me. Have you seen, and it's been around for years and years, and I know this because, gosh, going back like 20 plus years, I remember my mom and I used to get it often, and we really, really liked it, but it's the I can't believe it's not butter spray. Love it. So good. But it's not vegan, and it, or it wasn't, and now it is, my friends. I hear that it is. I don't think it's labeled as vegan, but they changed their recipe, and just double check, but I have heard that one is vegan. I haven't gotten it yet since I heard that, but I will, because I remember really, really liking that a lot. But anyway, got this. In the meantime, I'm almost out of butter. Got some romaine hearts here. This has shot up in price so much. It's kind of crazy. I got, uh, I think, three or four bunches in here of cilantro. 
Again, for the salsa, got a bunch of jalapenos in here as well. And again, the only thing I'm missing, that fresh oregano. Got some uh, red grapes here. These were on sale, I think, for $5. And so were these green ones too. So got a thing of the green grapes as well. Got a big thing here of OJ. So I have your orange juice. Bunch of, this is all Roma tomatoes. I don't even know how many I got, like 12, 15, something like that. And again, we'll use for the salsa, the guac, and the chili quiles. So it goes far. Got a big thing here, and I do still have some oil for frying these up, but a huge thing of tortillas here. This is white corn, I believe, right? Why doesn't it say? I think. Corn. Moss of flour, it doesn't say, but it looks, they look, I don't know, but a <laughs> bunch of tortillas here, like a bunch, 80 of them, and uh, cut them in half, cut them in half, and uh, you got yourself your chippies there. So good, so got a bunch of those. And then lastly, oh, my dad really, okay. So we have the uh, Nespresso machine, right? With Starbucks pods, no less. That's what I have, I love it. My dad still really, really likes the Pike's Place, which I do too, but from the like K-Cup, the Keurig, which we kept our Keurig before we got the Nespresso machine and we keep it in the guest room. And so he still likes to have this. And I'm like, you can have like the better one. No. Yep. I'll let it slide because it's the holidays. Anyway, got this for him. And then I also needed to get some of the, okay, I'm hoping it works. There's a little area where I feed the dogs their food and they make a dang mess, but I don't get to it every day. It's the truth. I need to like scrub some of the, where they, like it's, it, it, I need to scrub the floor. And so <laughs> I'm going to try the scrub mommy here and the scour daddy sponges. Why not? I grabbed them. It's a cute name. It lured me in. And then these were on sale, like buy two, get one free. And you can't say I'm not festive now. There it is. I should have gone bigger though, because if this plate is going to hold my chili quiles, I need three plates. So there's that. Anyway, that was my little haul. I think we're all set. I've just got to get that oregano. Cannot go without the oregano. Anyway, my friends, like I said, I will see you guys. Sunday to close out Vlogmas officially. Have a great Christmas Eve. Just if you're not doing anything, continue to do nothing. Just chill, take a breather, watch something that is mindless. Just, you know what I'm saying? And again, I will see you guys on Sunday midday. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. And I thank you guys very, very much for spending this time with us. I know this one was a little weird <laughs> mid Vlogmas, but, uh, we're here, we're here, and uh, I really appreciate it. I do, so we'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye, guys.